Hey guys, Huz here bringing you another video. Now before the video begins, sort of give a shout out to my partnership quarterback with the Huz Nation, the club that we are running in the, the kind of leagues that are going on. And if you're if unaware what this is, basically it's a software that you can uh, sign up and download below. Uh, it's completely for free. You join my club, then you start and compete in challenges uh, where you click play at the top left, you pick your challenges, you get involved and you earn trophies for one, yourself as an indiv individual and then to the club, the Huz Nation. So you can do summoners real, a ram all random earths there's different categories in all three you can also now do it as duo queue which is a, a relatively new feature uh but every single week comes with a new challenge from the guys at quarterback so you can see we're in division one still again very competitive you know we're, we're going to hopefully do well again this uh, uh season again a season lasts one week and the challenge is bada bing so, you as an individual, if you get 500 trophies by competing in challenges, you get 5,000 coins. All the way up to a crazy amount of 50,000. If you wanted to go ham, feel free. I'd say what I'd generally aim for if you're someone that can play a decent amount, probably the 1,500 to 2,000 trophies. A few people last week achieved that in a different challenge. So, you know, you can get 20 or 30,000 coins this week just by competing for free using the link down below. And again, for these coins over there, if you go into the shop, uh, you can enter raffles. You can also buy any real skin that you want that's in the store. So, for example, with this week, mixed in, if you played and got 2,000 trophies just from this week, if you've never played quarterback before, you could buy Silas, the new champion. He's 22,000. So it's very much worth getting involved. And what I will say, as an incentive for people to get involved in different tiers, we're actually going to be running two giveaways for Riot Points as well to get involved. One is specifically for those that make it into the top 100 of the club. So if you are somebody that gets in the top 100, you'll specifically be entered into one giveaway. This is for $20 worth of Riot Points, by the way. And then the other giveaway is for everybody. So there's two, both $20 worth of Riot Points each. One is for the top 100 especially. And the other is for everybody who is in the club. If you're in the top 100, you're entered in both. So it's a big incentive to do as well as you can as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys get involved this week. Try and earn those coins. Earn yourself some prizes. And also just a reminder, because I also keep forgetting about it. Make sure you check out the achievements and history tab and collect your achievements because these are free coins as well that I always forget about. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it. Hopefully I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. But remember to smash the like on this one. It does help out a bunch. And uh, I hope you enjoy the continued diamond promo. Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Climb to Master. We return still in diamond promo. We lost the first game on Darius, which I would have uploaded again. I think I'm going to upload every single game in the promo, unless it's like, you know, completely pointless. Um, unless it's, you know, the 15 minute surrender type game. Well, maybe, maybe if it's a win, I'll upload that. But if it's a loss, I probably won't. Because that's kind of pointless. Uh, Karthus is finally banned. That's good. Karthus has legit been in every single of my game today. And getting pretty strong in most games apart from one. Uh, because it was just a pretty weird Karthus. But yeah. Okay, so... I don't know what I'm gonna play. Win rate wise, how am I doing on certain champions already this season? Let's have a quick little look, shall we? Um, so... My best champion so far this season is Annie. I've played three games. Well, Annie and Ziggs. Actually, it's Ziggs. Yeah, my Ziggs is the same win rate as Annie, but I've actually been doing better in both farm and KD with Ziggs. If we're against a Yasuo, though, I'm playing Annie. Um, I played it last night, yeah. And there is very little a Yasuo can do against an Annie. It's just really good. And it's really straightforward to play, and you just blow him up. If you're wondering why, is because one, Annie just has a lot of burst, which counted as Yasuo. Uh, but when it comes to the wind wall, only one thing is counted by wind wall when, it, when it's Annie and stuff. Uh, and that is uh, the Q. Tibbers is not counted by wind wall and Annie's W is not counted by wind wall. So even if he wind walls, you can still land the stun. And you do Tibbers, uh, W, and then throw your Q. And by the time that combo happens, um, your damage is already down. So... It's really good. We'll go a different skin, though. I don't actually know if I've uploaded any Annie games this season, though, because I might have recorded... or I might have played all my Annie games off stream. I can't remember. There might be one, because I actually am quite ahead of content at the moment, because obviously I'm playing so much League. I think I'm about four or five days ahead in terms of what I'm uploading on the channel. Roughly. 
So, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, blind picking Silas top lane as well is a bit crazy. Again, I think he's pretty weak, but maybe this guy will prove me this game he's strong. But I personally haven't seen a Silas performance that's made me kind of go, ooh. The only strong aspect of that champion is his W, practically. And then obviously it's situational depending what the ultimates um, you can steal. On the enemy team, right now, the best ultimate for him to steal is probably Brom's. Maybe Lee Sin's. <laughs> uh, I don't own Goth Annie on this account, but I can own it if I wanted it. Oh, it's Yasar Top. That's fine. She picked Annie. Wait, what? She picked Ari into Annie? The old classic counter to Ari was Annie, by the way. Huh. Weird. Um, but yeah, team comp's locked in. I like our team comp. I'm just Obviously, there's a bit of a question mark on the Silas. If he does well, great. If he does bad, ugh. Again, it, it, it's pointless even to steal Yasser ultimate because we don't actually have a single knockup for him. Maybe vain E, but that's it. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. We're playing Annie in the mid lane. All right, welcome to the loading screen. So again, majority diamond game. We're obviously in promo to diamond, but that is actually a, f a one loss that hasn't updated yet. Again, just to remind you, this column is season nine, but that column's last season, like these two columns. So it's a bit out of date. Um, but that does mean that win rates on the enemy team all are positive. We actually have one negative person on our team. But again, that's probably only one game difference. So it's not really a big deal. You know, a 47% win rate would be a big deal if it was 150 games, not 15. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can win this game. Let's have a quick look uh, specifically against this person. So they've only played, it looks like, only one game uh, in their placements. But actually, no, they've played more. They've but only been playing Lissandra. And this game, they've opted not for Lissandra, apparently. So yeah, well, Lissandra and Ari. So they're like kind of like a, a two-trick, I guess. But yeah, hopefully we'll do well. This person was actually platinum last season. But has been a diamond player in the past. Uh, but let's get into it. We're playing Annie in the mid lane. All right, welcome to the game. Today we're playing Annie in the mid lane, continuing our diamond promo. Uh, Twitch chat has also informed me that we do have one knockup. Well, two, I guess, for Silas if he steals Yasuo ultimate. So Vein E does count a very split second. Uh, but apparently Silas himself has a knockup. His second half to his E counts as a knockup as well. So yeah. Enemy team could invade with that comp. That's quite strong level one. Strong level one, good level one, can take charm, could take Q. All kind of good. Wait, what? Why has he got a black spear? <laughs> what the hell? Is he going to kill me? Oh, he tried to use Dark Spear on me, but you only you can buy that. Oh, I know why. You can buy it. I think just in case uh, there's a Callista in the game, so you can link somebody, so you can steal her ultimate and link the use it on the person you've linked. Um, but you can buy the item, and it won't. It just won't be used if there's not a Callista in the game. Vane just asked the question that I answered. That's weird. It probably is a bug. Like, it probably should only show in the store if there's a Callista in the game. An enemy Callista in the game. But right now it's showing if there's anybody. Which is a bit weird. Cheese, level one, cheese. Which worked, apparently. Again, I think it should just be standard to throw a ward. Did she rage quit after that level one? No. Dude, it's always diamond promo. It's always when you're in promo. You get crazy, like, people that either feed or rage. I have a funny feeling the vein has just given up. She got cheesed at level one, and she's like, screw it, I can't be bothered anymore. Oh, she's back. Wait, she had a bug? Oh, okay. Sorry, I wasn't reading chat. Ugh! Again, Vayne, Vayne's inevitably going to lose lane to a Brom, but now she's even further behind. I will say this. A lot of people in games go bug, bug, bug. When was the last time I had an, had an in-game bug? I'm going to say probably years. Like, how do people have so many bugs? I have no idea. It's 
really weird. I'm not expecting Silas to win lane. Okay. First blood. Hey, good gank. Just being a bit careful about the Lee. I'm gonna just go up here just in case Lee Sin comes behind, like down. Because then I can walk into Kazix. Wanna be a winner, Pokemon. Alright, so Leeson's already been mid twice. I'm the favourite again. Oh look, Leeson's mid again. <laughs> God damn, I get camped so much. He could be coming now this way. No, I missed it. <sighs> Wait, are they duo? If they're duo, I guess it makes sense. I haven't checked if they do or not, though. Really. I'm staying because if I hit level six, I can kill the Ari. Kazix at the moment, I think, has ganked twice and got all the kills. Like, he's got a kill in every single lane he's ganked so far. That's a good sign of a good jungler. Get out of my lane. Weird how she decided to flash instead of using her ult. Give me one of these. Will I get one? I don't know. I really want it. Yeah. So even though we've been camped like crazy. Like what? Leeson's been mid, I want to say four times. I might be wrong, but I think it's four. Uh, We're winning lane. Even farm. We got one plate of tower. And always also account that... The time that the jungler is spending mid compared to your jungler. So Lee Sin technically has wasted time coming mid lane, and my Kazix hasn't wasted time going to any. So that's also a really good point to make. Is if you're wasting the enemy team's jungler's time, that's really valuable. So yes, it could be hurting you with your lane, but in the grand scheme of the game, you're doing really good. So that's why. If you're somebody right now watching this, and I guarantee there's some people watching, when the jungler's just waiting in a bush, if you're that person that types in all chat, hey, hey, we can see you, you're being a bit silly. Because you're literally giving up the resource of time that the jungler is wasting being in that bush. That's a really valuable thing. If they're wasting their time near you, that means they're not, they're not killing your teammates. Don't give that up for just saying, like, for being, like, cheeky in all chat, right? That looked so weird. Three people. To 
be honest, we were reacting. Just we couldn't react in time. What are they doing? <laughs> what are they? Huh? The only person that focused me was the Lee Sin. And I'm going to be honest right now. Not just saying it because it's me or anything. The person that the enemy team had to focus was me. Why? Because I do a lot more da AoE damage than the Kha'Zix right now. And I had Tibbers up. And the only one that was like, kill the Annie was the Lee Sin. And he just died instantly. How weird was that? And yeah, Yasuo Windwalled. The wrong target. Oh, so close. Wait, she still had ult? Oh, the overstay is real. The, this Silas looks like he's tilting himself when he's just playing Silas. <laughs> How do I stomp on every game on Annie? Because I don't have to think about mechanics at all. It's purely just decision making that you focus on, which just opens you up to do anything you want practically. Which is really nice. A pre 10 minute rower? Don't mind if I do. Going rower this game if you're wondering, um, because the enemy team's got one shot champs. Ro I'd only go rower Annie if I need to be a bit bulkier. Um, like beefy, tanky. Um, I can use many different words if you'd like. But yeah, just a little bit beefy. Um, and you can't get one shot. So yeah. I'm hoping this guy hasn't raged out and he's like, I'm not going top lane anymore because I'm playing a champion that kind of sucks. The enemy jungler's down there. Who's just doing... Wait, what? <laughs> He's just doing the turtle. He could be here. Oh. oh I'm coming. Oh, I got seen. I'm looking for Lee. Ba -da. Give me them doubles. That vein's pretty clean. <laughs> Bye, Tibbers. <laughs> it's always nice to see like a clean mechanical champ, like Vayne. Again, admittingly, Yasuo. Yasuo is a really fun champion to watch if someone's actually good at Yasuo. It's just the vast majority of people play that champion are really bad at him. So it's really rare, but it's awesome when you see a good one. Like, I don't know, maybe Yasuo might be the most fun champion when you're good at him in League. Obviously, that's such depending if you actually like playing him and like the champion, but I do think... On a jet, even like when you're watching games, if you're like expecting a good Yasuo, maybe Zed. But yeah, there's something about Yasuo. Uh oh. Wow, that's a Brom, and he just like ripped through him like he was butter. When am I not going the Predator build? I don't like the Predator build. I don't like Predator that much, if I'm honest. I don't like things, generally, that have a cooldown that makes you, it really obvious when you can do your job. You know, if the enemy hears Annie going Predator and they just hear the Predator sound, they're like, Annie's coming! It's like, mm, I'd rather be, like, doing damage constantly, not just one time every two minutes or something. Jesus Christ. A vein is beating a Lucian. And Brom got the kill without Lucian getting an assist. <laughs> Someone's saying, did anyone see that FPS drop? It's when I alt tab out of the game. If you ever see, like, watch this. FPS right now. Watch. Ta da. It's when I alt tab to go look at something on my other screen. Mainly, like, Twitch chat or something. 
you're wondering why I'm doing that, my Tibber's cooldown is pretty low. I think my Tibber's cooldown is actually lower than her cooldown. So the next time Tibbers is up, I can uh, just kill her. So yeah. Keeping Tibbers in that bush just as a ward. <laughs> Good boy. No, nope, what are you doing? Go back in the bush, you're a ward. Someone did tell me that apparently Annie Tibbers cooldown, it actually starts going on cooldown the moment you press ultimate, not when Tibbers dies. I think it used to be when Tibbers died, um, but they changed it sometime. It prob they probably changed it like a few years yeah, ago, but yeah. Iceborne Gauntlet Silas. So he's intended to be an assassin, but is he that bad about being an assassin that people are just playing him as a tank? <laughs> that That's a tough deal. Imagine that. Akali and Azir are also fun when mastered. Eh. I think part of, like, Akali... Whenever I see an Akali doing well, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth because the champion design is just bogus. Azir, I will definitely agree with you because like, someone who does well on Azir is just doing really well. Like, you know that they've done... You know they've worked hard, really, to do that because it's not straightforward. Bum, 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 bum. There's a Yasuo in my lane. They're killing my tower. <laughs> if he steals Ariel, does he get only one stack of the movement or does he get two? Dude, that was like... That was just the tip. This Silas sucks. Well, again, I don't know if it's the player. It could just be the champion. He just doesn't do anything. And oh, by the way, my whole teammate team just died. Uh, yeah, like, we've got a really fed vein. Why are you surrendering? It's obviously because he's having a bad game. But once again, if you're somebody that is prone to, like, raging or freaking out, because you're having a bad game, maybe don't pick the new champion that's got a 30% win rate and full rolls. Just a, you know, a general thought there. Someone who self-admits they're tilted to me is just a bit of a dumb person. You can be tilted, but why are you, like, bragging about it in, all in like, chat? Attention-seeking, question mark? Silas just go in. Yeah, so he's like inting by the looks of it. Like, why do you go in? Why did he go in 2v1? Like, there's being tilted and there's just inting. They're different things. You can't blame being tilted for inting, it's not a thing. I think people hide behind the tilted, like, thing a bit too much. Potential overstay. Definite overstay. Ooh, we're making this game harder for ourselves. Xylus trying to go for a 2v1. My bot lane overstaying like crazy. Why we make this so difficult? Wow. 
Sweet. Where the hell's the enemy team? Isn't there a Yasuo down here for free? He might be on the red. I thought he was free. Someone on Twitch is saying, please don't be this negative. Man. The, the, the annoying thing, right? I will say this right now. I'm really happy that I made the video about saying I want to be positive. But now it feels like if I'm slightly negative, there's just going to be like a million people kind of going, oh, he went up against his word. It's like, like, Jesus Christ, I'm not a robot. But I'm not even being that negative at all. Kazakh's damage was crazy. If Silas will be able to ever beat the um, Yasuo in a 1v1. Oh man. Oh Alright, I guess they're leaving a vein alone. Wow, this vein is so good. That vein didn't get hit once. Whew. It's weird. That death was worth it. <laughs> Is, does that sound weird? I just died and we gained more from that death. Vein got two kills and we got mid lane tower for that one death. Would have been way better if I got my Tibbers actually off them, though. Like Oi! That scared me then. Jesus Christ. Bye, Lee. Kazix thought he killed him. <laughs> He's like, got him. Wait, you're alive? How are you alive? That looked funny. All right, let's risk it for a chocolate biscuit. What are the enemy team doing? Wait! Banshee! Come on! Are you serious? She bought a Banshee! I, I just popped my thing because I thought she didn't have any more alt stacks. She had one left. Oh my god, that Ori really doesn't want to die. I'm coming! Oh my god, this vein. Dude. <laughs> he just accepted his death. He was like, just just kill me. Okay. No! <laughs> I was about to kill her! 
<laughs> Come on! I'm finally gonna kill the Ari! Oh! Damn it! Alright, well, at least we won this game. We'll have to give it to the Ari. Uh, Ari? Uh, Vayne? Uh, uh. Why would you vote yes? Uh, the really fed Vayne. Anyway, that was a win. It was a good game overall. I'm happy with it. Um, I think I played relatively well. Again, didn't kill the Ari, but she played very defensive. You know, so defensive that she bought a Banshee's a second item versus an Assassin Mage. Uh, as an Assassin Mage. That's how passive this person played, which is like, wow, okay. Uh, but that now gives us a win. So what that means is I'm for gonna be forgetting about my last two games. And now Diamond Promo is now a best of three. That's the way that I've always thought about it. If I if I go win and loss in my first two, so we you know loss and win, forget about those, and now we've got to win two of the, the three. So yeah. And also this Yasso is blaming the Lee Sin when the Yasso overstayed a lot in this game and just got killed for free. Typical Yasso, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the Silas didn't really do much. But luckily no one listened to him. Wow. Um, no one listened to him, otherwise we would have lost the game. Uh, but Leeson did do very bad, but I'm not saying the Yasso played well. Uh, Vayne, this Vayne, honestly, was so goddamn clean. You know, what rating was she last year? This Vayne was gold. She was diamond in season six or seven, so I'm guessing it's a smurf that this person didn't use last season, basically at all. But wow, that was a, such a clean vein. Uh, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy, uh, throw a like on it. Again, apologies if I have any frustration in my games, but League is quite a frustrating champ uh, game, and I can't like completely robot it out. I didn't even think what I was doing this game was like negative at all, if I'm honest. But anyway, that's going to be it. Like, subscribe. See you guys next time. See ya.